everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hino with Misty Hino's Lego Robotics. Today what I want to do is give you a very simple Sumo Bot Spike Prime program. Um, if you're teaching like little kids or you just want to keep it simple, I'm going to show you a program that I use with my second graders to just give them a lot of fun and a simple program that they can do on their Spike Prime robot to just battle each other and have lots of fun. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm on my Spike Prime software here and I'm gonna make this really fast because this program is really short and fast. So the first thing I did was put a forever block so that this thing just keeps looping. And then I'm gonna put a wait two second block here so that my students have a chance to press the green button and then move their hand out of the way so the robot sees the other robot and not their hand. And then I'm gonna set um, this first movement speed, I'm gonna do the spin, and the reason I, I put it at 50 is I want the robot to spin slow enough so that it does see the other robot. If you make this thing too fast, it doesn't see the other robot. So that one you might have to experiment. And then I'm gonna set my movement motors to ENF or wherever your motors are plugged into. And then here comes the spin. I'm gonna have this start moving at a right angle for 60 degrees. You might have a different program to have it move you know, left, depending on if your students even want to spin. Some, some sumo bots have them go straight. It's gonna be up to you. Then we have the sensors come in. So this weight block, you're gonna have um, a, col not a, a distance sensor attached to it. So this weight block is gonna just wait for the distance sensor to see something closer than 10 inches or whatever you guys wanna make it. I found that 10 inches works good. Then we're gonna set these movement motors again to ENF. And the reason I dropped this uh, forward to 35%, my students were noticing that um, the faster they have the robot, it was going too fast and it wasn't allowing the color sensor to see the color so we dropped it to 35 percent that allowed the color sensor to pick up the color and actually activate the backwards so you can play around with this number but that's the one we we had and then here's your forward and then it's going to go forward until and there's another weight block until the color sensor sees whatever color your border is. It can be blue, white, um, and whatever it is, I set the ENF motors again. And here I can go faster because I'm just trying to get back to the middle of wherever, you know, the starting was. So I bump this up to 75% and it, it's gonna go backward for one second. Um, you can play around with that if you're noticing that it's backing up off the table or backing out of the ring you can make that shorter however you want and then that's looped and it just keeps doing this over and over again so there is your simple program and again you're gonna have to see what fits your students or your robot the best if you need to play around with these numbers this should be a good template to start with Okay, so now that you have the program, let's go ahead and see what that looks like with this robot on this table. All right, let's go ahead and see this program in action with this robot here. And I've just outlined a basic square on my table here, and let's see how it works. Let's go ahead and see that two second wait, and then the spin. Let's show it something uh, less than 10 inches away. I'm just gonna do that again. Let me come over here. Again, we want to go slow enough that it actually can see the blue or whatever your color is. Okay, backs up. And because we have it looped, it's going to do that whole thing again. You can figure out a way to take out the two second, you know, two second wait after the first time. If you don't like it, but that's how simple that is. Hopefully you guys get a lot of enjoyment out of this program, seeing your students battle each other. So there you have it, guys. And let me go ahead now and show you just some of the matches that my students did with this robot using that same program.
So hopefully you found that very simple and definitely editable. You know, like if you need to change some things, if you don't want to spin, if you want to, you know, make the backwards longer, feel free to just experiment and see how it fits your kids and how they want to battle each other. But hopefully you found that Spike Prime program, you know, as a good template to just platform off and do your own thing and definitely have fun with this program. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.